All right, now if you would, you just start up there and then come down to me. <laughs> Morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Lassie. Good morning, Mr. Lassie. Uh, it's wonderful to meet the people that, you know, were uh, drawn to the show and that, that enjoyed the show and got something out of it. it. It makes it very rewarding. You know, television's a one-way medium. We don't know whether you're liking it when we make it. So uh, it's nice to come to this, uh, these kinds of shows and get to meet people that were enjoying what you did. You know, I did the junior high and Degrassi high and then next gen. Uh, I don't know if they know me. A lot of them think I live in their building. <laughs> but then they realize, oh no, he was on TV. <laughs> Is it the laundry room where we... Did I take your stuff out of the dryer the other day? <laughs> you know, it was so well written. Uh, the issues that they tackled were, were so important to kids growing up that it was... I was just very fortunate to have been cast on a show like that. You know, I... I could have been cast on any number of things, you know, a, a, a grocery store game show or something, who knows. So I was lucky to be on Degrassi. When I was growing up, my father ran a salvage yard in Toronto, and uh, so I was always working on cars since the time I was 16 years old. I never restored a car until I started doing it on television. My father, uh, with the salvage yard, he would say, well, if you take that half of that car and half of that car and put them together, you'll get one that runs. So that was the kind of mechanical, mechanical experience I had. But then I started, uh, I was fortunate enough to get a, uh, work with Speed Channel down in the States. And uh, they ac actually were fans of Degrassi, the people that were doing the show. And um, they said, yeah, come on, we want Mr. Radich to be restoring cars for us. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I, you know, that ran for years. I started that in, I guess it was... Um, the 90s and uh, it went right through until 2016 was our last season. Well that guy that used to tell me to put two cars together, I look after him, he just turned 102. So I look after my dad a lot and uh, that's, that's sort of my priority right now.